Hello, Leo, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I'd certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions. Okay, so what I like to do, Leos, is to engage you in a romantic reading or romantic discussion. And we're going to focus solely on your situation with the X here. Okay. Rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, that this reading, as with any other reading, simply will not and may not resonate with each and every one of you out there. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the valuable information that you're seeking so that you can at least, Leo's, ascertain your best decision moving forward here. So, the focus question that we're going to be asking today is, of course, is the issue is regarding your relationship with the ex or perhaps lack thereof. And what does you, Leo, need to learn about the circumstances of this connection? And what does you, Leo, need to know to further enhance it should you wish to do so here okay so with that said i'm going to be using my zombie tarot deck today you know just to get you started for the halloween period and i'm going to provide you with leo's the necessary insight and ammunition so that you can disarm whomever it is that might be coming at you negatively okay now again with this reading here it's going to certainly provide you ladies and gentlemen with the necessary insight that you need so that you can at least make a decision and i'm going to tell you up front it, it appears that with all of the readings that i've been doing so far it seems that the key here is to it boils down to you making a crucial decision okay so i'm going to shuffle up leo's and i'm going to ask spirit what is the overarching energy pervading this reading? And the reading is valid until the end of this year, so it can give you some time um, to work with it, okay? Again, if it resonates, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share with others to whom you think might benefit. And Leo's, remember to press that subscription button so you receive all future readings, okay? So, Spirit, what is the overarching energy pervading uh, this question here for with, with respect to the X here. What is the overarching energy? Let me go on and just cut the deck here so we can make sure we're getting a good shuffle here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a few cards, ladies and gentlemen, from the uh, from the bottom of the deck here. So we have, we have the Two of Cups, okay? We have the Magician. And lo and behold, Leo's, we have, wow, the Devil here. Okay. So prior to getting into your reading, I'd like to just make a few general observations regarding what I'm seeing here. So, I'm certainly seeing a very or bear, overbearing or power-driven person or either lover. So, Leo's, this could be you or it could be this ex here that I'm getting. I'm seeing a lot of deception and hidden, hidden agendas here. Okay? I'm also getting a strong sense, too, that, you know, the, the ex... Is a type of person I'm getting that he's very, how can I put this, flattery, and he easily or she woos you through what he or she says here, okay? I'm also getting a strong sense too, ladies and gentlemen, that 
one of you appears to be wondering whether the other has lost romantic interest. Okay, it could be you or it could be the ex here. Okay, and I'm seeing here, looking at these this energy here, separation between the two of you, you know, could, could happen. It's highly imminent, I'm getting. Because it seems that you guys had a very, or you have a very volatile type situa situation on again, off again. And this separation is going to occur if you don't resolve these difficulties. But I just feel that it's probably more than likely it's going to happen anyway for many of you. Despite whatever challenge, despite the challenges presented here, because like I said, I'm seeing a lot of deception, trickery. And it looks like that, you know, one of you seems to be already connected with somebody else or already involved in a situation here that I'm kind of getting. It's more of like a third party type situation, you know, into which you're going to kind of wedge yourself into or back into I'm getting. Okay. But I'm certainly seeing that you're going to certainly receive a call or a text or even Leo's. I feel that you might even bump into this person unexpectedly because usually when you have a two here, it always shows you kind of reconnecting with someone that you. Someone whom you, you know, someone uh, whom you haven't seen in a while here. And it, it is going to occur quite quickly. It could occur within the next two days or within the next two weeks I'm getting. Okay. I feel that many of you are really hoping to resurrect your situation. But you see this devil card here. That represents a problem that will, that is certainly going to occur here so really being very vigilant in your situation is very important should you decide to return because I, i'm getting a strong indication that this ex is he's very or she is very 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 seductive i'm kind of getting very seductive type energy i'm kind of feeling here okay and this person might even be on drugs or just drinks excessively or just might be taking pills or just doing something to kind of something very toxic, something very harmful. I'm getting to that this person even might be a convict or uh, or or convicted felon, you know. And rest assured that this ex is certainly very, very um, promiscuous here. OK. I'm also getting a strong indication that he or she might even have a Machiavellianistic type personality or temperament here. And this person is certainly a smooth talker at best. And Leo's rest assured that this person is going to tell you what you want to hear here. So again, you have to be very realistic about your situation. Although we have here, you know, this magician showing a new start here, okay, that is about to emerge, but is it a new start back returning to this love or just going in a different direction here? Of course, this reading, the scope of this reading is about this X, and you can see that magician connected with this devil. It's very, very manipulative, okay? And this person seems to have a major force over your life, I'm getting for many of you, Okay? This person is an individual who tends to act at his or her own worst enemy. So although many of you will decide to rekindle, I'm getting, or rekindle your situation or re reconnect in some way, rest ensured that this person is, is wearing a mask here, okay? We have the two of cups here, which represents, of course, a water sign. Venus is in cancer here, okay? And then we have the air sign here, you know, the air sign here with the magician here it could be a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius. And then you have that devil here, it usually represents a Capricorn or another earth sign, Taurus or Virgo, but usually it's Capricorn I'm kind of getting, okay? 
So I'm kind of sitting, these three cards really just combine to tell you that, you know, you need to focus and be very adept because you're, it seems that you have a situation that is going to lead to bondage, to you feeling trapped in some way here. Okay. And, and it might expose you to things contrary to your belief. I'm sure that many of you already know what those things are because you've dealt with this person before. Okay. You definitely have a, a very codependent situation, which, of course, you know is very toxic. Okay, and I feel that this ex, one of you, it looks like you burden each other for financial assistance. One of you does this, not both of you, I'm kind of getting. Or many of you are kind of feel attached to this person, and it might well be due to your feel, you know, you, your self pity, I'm getting in some way. Or you may even have a business connection where it's like it's hard for you to really get rid of this person. Okay? So, in short, we're just looking at these um, cards here as an overarching energy here. I'm seeing that many of you feel you are, in fact, at a crossroad. And you need to make a choice. Sometimes the grass, ladies and gentlemen, certainly is not greener on the other side here. And I think I'm going to use this as my title or some aspect of this, okay? For returning, ladies and gentlemen, to someone who has done you wrong, and it seems that it's been done very, very much intentionally, what can you expect when you go back? But it seems that, like I said, you guys have a pattern of you, 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 you have this on-again, off-again type situation here. But, again, despite problems or conflicts that you may have had, I do, like I said, the Two of Cups shows that you are going to reconnect in some way, and some of you may have already reconnected here, okay? But just under, you, you may have already reconnected, and you may already spoke of ways that you're going to try to do things a little differently this time. But this person is lying here because you see that the devil here is connected here at the end, all right? So you really have to make a crucial decision when it comes to this person here that I'm getting, okay? And just know that it's some type of challenge or whatever that's ahead that you are not aware of. And it, again, it might be simply because, Leos, you're not being realistic here, okay? So why don't we go head on, Leos, and just um, get the deck out here and just pull a few more cards here, okay, to represent your situation here we have. Pull two cards here. We have the Ten of Cups, okay? This represents your situation, and we have... Judgment. This card has been coming up a lot in most of the readings, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so you have the Ten of Cups and Judgment. So that itself is telling you that the Ten of Cups represents the happy family and judgment. You're going to have to make a decision. Like I said, some of you are already married or you've been with this person so long that you're legally, you know, your state would consider you legally married that I'm kind of getting here. Or you just had a, like I said, an on again, off again type situation that you, you'll you need to make some type of a judgment. Okay. So as your situation here, you have the 10 of cups, ladies and gentlemen. And with the 10 of cups, Mars governs that card and Mars is in Pisces, of course. So it can represent a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Okay. So this 10 certainly shows or denotes opportunity, peace, and harmony. It's, as I indicated, the happy family card here. But you have judgment here, and judgment here is seen as a challenge here. But when you look at challenges, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to help you understand that 
the challenge is not something that's always negative. It just offers information that you need to consider, okay, or actions you need to undertake to really change your situation or to, to kind of make it, ladies and gentlemen, a bit more effective here. So with judgment, Pluto governs that card and it's connected with fire signs. Leo's, just as yourself, Aries, and Sagittarius, okay? And so having judgment as a challenge card, spirit is kind of urging you, Leo, to give up your thought of thinking this connection with this ex will last forever and face reality that I'm getting. But you can resolve your problems because I really see that you guys might like it's kind of 50 50 with some of you reconnecting and some of you deciding to go on and move forward with good conscience in a different direction or just remain with your existing partner here because again it looks like that some of you do already have an existing partner and you have multiple exes okay so the way that you resolve your problems leos is that you need to trust your intuitive faculties a bit more your higher consciousness okay you need to take accountability leos for what you may have contributed to cause the ultimate demise of your situation okay i also feel too that some of you are some of you might be focusing a little bit too heavily on what was lost in your situation Instead of trying to focus on what you can achieve at this moment, right now. Okay? And some of you may have failed to forgive your ex or even yourself. Or you're seeking revenge. Many of you are, or like I said, the energies could be vice versa. Because like I said, someone is in fact wearing a mask and they're not there. Really for you, it looks like they're there for or they want to come back to reconnect because you appear to be a bit stable here, Leos. Or some of you might even be refusing to apologize and this may come as a challenge here. Or you're just holding on to resentment or over-intellectualizing matters a bit too much before making a decision that needed to have been made for quite some time now here, okay? So spirit is asking that you surrender the past, be true, Leos, to yourself, be realistic, and make whatever amends that you feel are required in your situation. So, I mean, it's really up to you in terms of doing so, but you're going to have to make a decision on what, you, what you'd what like to do, okay? So Leos, what I'd like to do is to just end this reading with giving you six more closing messages on a few things that you might consider as you make every attempt to transform your situation. Things that you might want to uh, surrender during this time period in question here. And Leo's keep in mind that this reading is resonating. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with others to whom you think might benefit. And be sure to press that subscription button so that you receive all future readings, okay? So, Spirit, give me six final messages on things that Leos might consider surrendering during this period under discussion. Okay, let's see. Let's go and start with this card here. Okay. It's time that, Leos, you surrender to your soul path. It looks like a lot of you have been rejecting it or you just haven't been really hearing the call if you will understand leos that your life journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth embrace every lesson and every moment of it i couldn't stress it any further it's time that you surrender resentments holding on to resentments only poisons you Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations, Leos, in your life. Next message. Surrender the idea that you can fix someone. 
when you try to make the attempt to fix someone, failure is inevitable, Leo. It's time for your relationship to shift. Certainly, it doesn't work to really try to fix someone. Understand that each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Next message. Surrender the passion here because I as I said here, I do see that you guys have decisions that you need to make. And there's a possibility that someone new will come into the picture here because you do have that magician card there. Okay? So you'll make the decision either to, to return to that to that ex or to remain in, in your existing situation or just to move on to someone else new here. All right. During this time period in question, but spirit certainly wants 